basically you've got uh, uh, just a glass board and a frame here. So this surface here is just uh, a solid sheet of glass. No advanced degree of training required. Open up the cap and like any other uh, uh, smart board or whiteboard, you just uh, start going to it. And draw. There's a racer on the front of these that's magnetic. So uh, it's in the little circle there. You pull that off and you can just erase as you want. Uh, part of the party piece of these is that um, it, you don't have to have your work disappear once you've erased the board. It can live on digitally and we can share that. As we look then at the bottom of the front of our cap board, we'll notice uh, if you're familiar with it, that's a USB logo. But on the side of it, more importantly, there's a USB connector. Uh, what you can put in there is any standard USB flash drive, um, and you just make sure, like every other flash drive, um, you put it in the one way with that. And once we've put that USB drive into that front connector, we get a little bit of a light show here with different icons that'll be bop boop along. And the important thing is at the end of it, you'll have two lights going. One's gonna say, hey, you got a USB connect, uh, drive connected. And the second and more important one is this camera icon. That's what we use to make a digital capture of anything that's on the board. Whenever I strike upon something particularly brilliant that then I want to capture and make a digital copy of, then I just use my finger and tap that little camera icon. And then that's going to blink for a minute and that's saving that digital copy of it. And once it's back solid again, then I'm good to go. So now I've made a copy of this, I can erase this and do that as many times as I want. As far as when I'm done and I'm ready to take the flash drive off, um, all I have to make sure is that that camera icon is solid and not blinking, then I can just pull that right off there. So certainly just being able to capture whatever we do on our cap board to a flash drive is pretty nifty, but we can also do better than that and do real-time sharing of that across different mobile devices. Um, what you need on that is an app. There's an app both for the Droid as well as the iOS so in this case, I happen to have an iPad and I've got the Smart Cap app on there. So I'm just going to tap that and open it. And what it's going to say is aim it at the, scan the QR code, which is uh, this little squiggle box here on the front left, bottom left front of the cap board. So I just aim my camera at that. Then I get a beep bop boop screen and it's saying it's connecting. And then at this point, I'm now connected. And just like with my flash drive, it'll show me some lights, a little light show in the bottom right front of the cap board. Uh, but I again have a camera icon, works exactly the same way, but now I have the Bluetooth icon showing that something's connected to the cap board via Bluetooth. Anything I draw on the board then uh, will show up over on the uh, iPad as well. And again, uh, it'll work just like uh, before, where if I want to capture something, I'll just tap the image. Well, in this case, it's going to make a screenshot in the gallery on the app that then I can refer back to at any point in time. So if I go ahead and erase this off the cap board, that's gone, but on the app, then I can go ahead and recall that and I'll just tap this little one down here at the bottom and that shows me everything in the gallery. And if I tap that, then that's come right back there. Um, and I can even download this uh, and make my own copy. In this case on the iOS app, I can save it to the camera roll, save it as a PDF, Google Drive, Evernote, etc. To go back to the live board, I can just back out of that and go back and then I'll get whatever's currently on the board. At any point, if I want to then share this with others, this live board cap session, um, and see stuff as it's being doodled on the board and have the option to capture and so on, um, I then, through the app, have to go in and say plus. I've got a little plus person here. I've got a unique web address that's secure, and certainly I can copy and paste that or give that with anyone I choose to, and then they could go through any internet connected device through a web browser and do that. 
Um, I've got a send link button here. I've got uh, different options to then share that link. The important thing then, though is then giving people that link. So then on whatever device uh, I want to pull up the session on, I just need an internet connection and some sort of web browser, doesn't matter which one. Um, but then I'm going to put in that uh, unique address that is generated randomly with a series of characters uh, to offer security and then hit enter and then that'll pull up my live uh, session then as I, because I'm connected to this session as I make changes here on the board that's going to change what I see on the, the live feed in the browser And it'll just depend on the processing power of the machine and the speed of the internet, um, how much of a lag, if any, there is. But as you can see here, usually not much of one. Then once I'm done with my session, um, I can hit the disconnect button in the app and I'll get a, are you sure that you're sure? And I'll say, sure. And then at that point, I've ended my CAP session and I will have saved whatever images I want, wherever I want uh, on them through my device. And I can take them with me or pull them up as I need to for a review.